Is it time to buy or sell Fubo TV stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Fubo TV. Our initial report was published on our website on Monday, May 8, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 5, 2023, our system has ranked Fubo TV as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of 0.00. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. During this period, the stock has outperformed our expectations, with a gain of 26.53% since we first recommended buying Fubo TV two days ago. This translates to an average return of 13.27% per day since it was listed as hold slash accumulate. A score of zero indicates that our system anticipates high volatility and risk for the following trading day. Given the latest developments, we are unable to determine the stock's next direction, as it could go either way. The current three-month trend suggests a potential minus 37.99% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 84.96% and minus 37.99%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 34.11% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 73.65% and 63.37%. This translates to a price range of $0.490 to $3.04 after a year. Our latest daily update for Fubo TV includes the headline, Big movements in Fubo TV stock price on Monday moving 21.15% between high and low. The Fubo TV stock price gained 26.53% on the last trading day, Monday, May 8, 2023, rising from $1.47 to $1.86. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 21.15% from a day low at $1.56 to a day high of $1.89. The price has risen in 5 of the last 10 days and is up by 63.16% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day by minus 11 million shares and in total, 48 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $88.55 million. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $8.14, and the lowest price was $0.96. Cents. Currently, the price is 77.15%, or $6.28, below the 52-week high, and 97.01%, or $60.43, below the all-time high on December 22, 2020, when the price reached $62.29. Analysts have given Fubo TV stock a general neutral rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as buy and price to book as buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock and sell rating. The following signals have been identified for Fubo TV. The Fubo TV stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $1.31 and $1.18. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Thursday, March 23, 2023, and so far it has risen 78.85%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, by signal 32 days ago. 
Bollinger, buy signal 135 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 4 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 4 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 3 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 4 days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 2 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 124 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Fubo TV On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $1.70 and $1.50. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Fubo TV finds support just below today's level at $1.70. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $1.50 and $1.47. This stock may move much during the day, volatility, and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $0.330 between high and low, or 21.15%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 12.89%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Fubo TV, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A negative PE ratio means the company has negative earnings or is losing money. Even established companies experience down periods, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may signal insufficient profit and possible bankruptcy risks. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on August 02, 2023. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Fubo TV. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Fubo TV is at $1.91. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Fubo TV encounters its first support level at $1.70. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Fubo TV from multiple analyst sources is neutral. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On April 26, 2023, Gandler David conducted an insider buy of 103,324 shares of common stock. On April 26, 2023, Gandler David conducted an insider sell of 103,324 shares of employee stock option, right to buy. On March 24, 2023, Jorihuela Alberto conducted an insider buy of 186,667 shares of common stock. On March 24, 2023, Jorihuela Alberto conducted an insider sell of 78,564 shares of common stock. On March 24, 2023, Jorihuela Alberto conducted an insider sell of 186,667 shares of restricted stock units. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 29.482. Overall, insiders purchased 24,270,387 shares and sold 3,950,779 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $1.80, minus 3.06%. This stock has high daily movements and this gives high risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 31 days ago. Is Fubo TV stock a good buy? Fubo TV holds several positive signals, but we still don't find these to be enough for a buy candidate. At the current level, it should be considered as a hold candidate, 
hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a strong buy to a hold slash accumulate candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Tuesday, May 9th, we expect Fubo TV to open down $0.0900 and start trading at $1.77. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.